Hi and welcome to a new video. In today's video we're going to look at how you can use OneDrive to sync folders that are stored outside of the OneDrive folder on your computer because the way OneDrive works it offers you a lot of storage it's a great tool to make backups of videos and documents and whatever you want but the thing is you have to put it all in your OneDrive folder and um, that's great for most use cases but some you people they have specific use cases in their computer where they want to have folders located elsewhere I want to keep them there in my example I've got a, a, D, a D drive which is actually the data drive where I store most of my things as you can see I store my pictures and my videos there and I wanted to make a backup of them to OneDrive but I don't want to copy them to that folder because I also make backup to other locations like uh, external drives and I use automated software to do that and if I would move these folders I would have to reconfigure everything and well it would be too much work for me but fortunately for the lazy people like me there's a really quick way of uh, Syncing those folders to OneDrive without having to move any folders and I'm going to teach you how to do that um, The easiest way and I hope that you can follow this way because Otherwise you'll need to find the patch yourself But either way you need to open the command prompt and you do that by going to start and then typing command no CMD and then you can open command prompt It's possible that you'll need to uh, use administrator rights in which case things will be a little bit different but if you're a power user you you can skip to the last part that's the part that will apply to you um we've got a command prompt here and if you don't want to type a lot of commands what we're going to do is we're going to type cd that's a command that opens a directory and what we're going to do is we're going to open our Wait a minute, I lost my folder. We're going to open the OneDrive folder and we're just going to drag it here so that it takes the path for us. As you can see, it created the path for me. All I have to do is open enter and when I type dig and do enter again, you'll see that it has the content of the, of the folder over here. So once I'm here, I'm going to create a folder that uh, that I need to well that I want to use I don't need to use it but I want to create a folder called 99 backups and I already created it you can just create it in your explorer and then what we'll do is we'll open that folder cd 99 backups one if you have spaces or anything similar, make sure to use the quotation marks. And now we're in the folder. And what we need to do now is make a link. And the command for that is something like command link target backslash t. I'm going to try and explain this because I just use it uh, myself. This is the, the command that tells your computer to create a, a link. It's called a symbolic link and it will create a link that will make OneDrive sync those files in the folder while it's still stored elsewhere. Um, then you have the link part. Instead of typing link, you can type the name of the folder as you want it to appear. For example, um, in my case, I use photos and videos because that's what I link to. And then the third part is the, the target link. And that has to be a, a location on your sorry you have to put a, a pad there and then finally we type back slash capital D to link the folder and I'll make an example with you I'm going to just read delete all this the command is mk link I'm going to create a folder named wait a minute I need to see what's in there because I'm not sure what it, um, well, 
while I don't need any of these folders, let, let's do the developing folder. It contains some code of mine. So what we're going to do is um, we're in the OneDrive folder. We typed mklink and let's just call it the same. I'm going to call it developing. And now I have to enter the path. And um, one way to do this is to actually look up the path uh, for the developing folder. This would have been, you can open it and then go here. See it's the D and then backslash developing. But the easier way is what we did before. Just go here and um, make sure your command in as well, which is drag a folder. And then we have a slash slash and d and make the link you can see that it says that the symbolic link is created for developing to developing and now when we go to the onedrive folder and backups it would show the developing folder as you can see it's already uh, syncing and when you open that folder you're going to end up in the operating system folder. And as you can see, OneDrive now treats this folder like it's actually stored under OneDrive, but in reality, it is creating a link to the data because as you can see, it's the same content. Uh, if I make a folder here, example folder, and then go back to the OneDrive, bear with, back to OneDrive, developing, you'll see that it has also added that without me having to do anything. So I'm going to delete that folder for a moment. I'm sorry for all the confusion, just try to follow the steps. Um, so I'm going to repeat what you have to do. It's not that hard actually, you need to open a command prompt. Then you go to the OneDrive folder, which you can do by um, typing CD space and then dragging the folder and hitting enter. Then you go to the, the folder where you want to sync the folders to. In my example, it was a developing folder, but it could be backup or anything you want to call it. And once in that folder, you create a symbolic link by going to, by typing MK link and then the name of the link that you want to create. I'm going to name it example link and then you type the, the actual path of the folder that you want to link to example folder for example and then don't forget the, the slash and the, the D and then if you hit, hit enter you'll see that it has created those links and it's going to sync files and um, then the final step is actually to wait for the for the files to sync. In my case, it's going to take a long while. I'm currently at 2.1 gigabyte of out of 212 gigabytes. So I'm just going to leave the computer on tonight. But um, yeah, this is the easy is actually the easiest way to add folders to your OneDrive. Um, there is also an, another option. You can uh, now create um, external links. Let me see if I can find the option for you. Let me drag that in here. Mm. There's also autosave now and you can sync documents, set desktop and picture folders from this PC to access them anywhere for other devices. Let's take a look. Oh, I still need to set this up, but either way, the thing is, now you don't need to bother with these folders because those are all standard folders. Now you can just sync any directory you want. Oh, see, it's complaining about my uh, about my content. I'm probably going to cut all of it out. Uh, but bottom line is, this is an easy way to achieve this. You'll have the file synced once uh, OneDrive is done and you can just keep working like you did. You can just use the old folder, add, file, add files there and then OneDrive will detect the change and it will do the uploading for you. 
So um, I hope this was useful for you. I hope that uh, this will help you to add your backups, but always keep in mind to keep backups in multiple locations. Um, for example, on top of OneDrive, have it stored on one or two external drives. And also make sure to test your backups. Make sure to go to OneDrive from time to time. Make sure your files are there. See if you can open them because an untested backup doesn't count. Um, that was the everything for this video. Uh, we'll see you soon with another video. Bye.